Colorado fired Carl Durrell. Now, this is not surprising. What is surprising to me is the fact that they went ahead and fired uh, the D.C., which was Chris Wilson. Uh, they just went ahead and got both of them out of town. Uh, the D.C., like that, that Colorado defense is putrid. I mean, it is so bad. Uh, I don't know that I've ever seen a defense that bad in a Power 5 league. It is abysmal. It doesn't matter who they play. They are getting smoked by everybody. The fact that Arizona was able to cover a three-touchdown spread on them this past weekend, uh, don't get me wrong, I think Arizona got a lot of fun pieces, et cetera, but that is a roster that was just built. Carl Durrell had the Colorado job a full year before Arizona hired Jed Fish. And Jed Fish went 1-11 last year. And now you're telling me in year two, Arizona's able to do that to Colorado? Yeah, I think that was kind of the death knell for them. Um, when you look at the different options for Colorado, I just, it is all over the place. I don't know what they, what that program wants to be. I don't know what the identity is. Um, you know, you, you pull up a list like this that Adam Rittenberg puts together, and it, he's got Ryan Walters, of course, the Illinois defense coordinator, Air Force, uh, Air Force coach Troy Calhoun, Auburn coach Brian Harson, USC defense coordinator Alex Grinch. Like, you're, you're effectively looking at either coordinators or at retreads, right? Or group of five coaches. That this would be a step up regardless of what the situation is with the Pac-12. Uh, but that is a big, big, big situation for them. Uh, Brian Harson, this would be just a comfy landing spot uh, if and when the situation happens at Auburn, right? We we know that he's not going to be the head coach at Auburn long term, but you've got a lot of different options. BYU offensive coordinator Aaron Roderick, uh, North Dakota State coach Matt Ince, Tulane coach Willie Fritz, USC defensive backs coach Dante Williams, who uh, was the interim coach for USC last year, uh, San Jose State coach Brent Brennan, Kansas City Chiefs offense coordinator Eric Bieniemy. They they tried to land him before. He wasn't interested then. I think the roster is actually worse now. So I don't know why he would take it. But regardless, uh, Oklahoma State OC Casey Dunn, USC defensive coordinator Alex Grinch. Uh, I, I just none of this is super exciting, other than maybe Troy Calhoun. And yeah, I think I think you could if Colorado wanted to move to the triple option, which is effectively what Troy Calhoun would do, then yeah, I think they would be really successful at that because nobody else out there is doing that. Like They they never even see it. You don't see Oregon or USC play Army or Navy, right? That just doesn't happen. So if you were to do this at Colorado, yeah, you could find ways to make that be successful. Uh, Calhoun is 57 years old. Like He's not been a Power 5 coach yet, but this that could be very interesting. That could be something, now obviously it depends on whether or not you want to be involved in what Georgia Tech went through, but Georgia Southern is showing you right now, you can you can transfer a portal your way out of the triple option if it doesn't work for some reason, right? So Troy Calhoun would be my, my pick for that if he's willing to leave Air Force and take it. But we'll see. We'll see. He might like the, uh, the regimented stuff at the Air Force Academy. We will see what happens. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.